I guess it's another loose for Nemesis. Uh oh! I am stuck 950 LP. I am a bad player. The run is doomed. Alright, well, if I just hold you guys that I got filled top, and it's like there's no worse feeling. There is genuinely no worse feeling than seeing the filled top incident. No. Well, there is actually one worse feeling, and it's when you ask for jungle and they say no. The only worse feeling than that. Why is my support going NAR? Why do we have NAR support? It's like if I could just have an answer to this question, then I'd be good. But it's like I don't know I'm going to get an answer to this question, and Loki, I'd need one. I think, guys, it's Winner's Key. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. Alright, guys, I'm playing Hecarim Top versus Cannon. We can win. I mean, the problem with the Hecarim Top, though, is that you have to, like, concede every single wave early. It's like, look, I walk up to get 20 gold, and I lose 100 health for it. You just permagat slow push on, but the problem with this is that if they decide to like, if they decide to dive me, there's nothing I can do, I just die. Dude, the problem with this game too is that Kennen has Ignite. So even if I were to like, randomly pop double stumps and try killing him, it'd still be fucked. Are they really not going to get Zai? I cannot pop. Every time I walk for one minion, I lose a hundred health. We can win. Okay, if I can just get this wave and reset though, I'm happy. But I'm pretty sure I just got full HP. Or I'm not full HP, but like, I'll just get Dove and die here. Yeah, I'm dead now. If I'd have said he just like flashes on me with E, ignites me and I'm instantly dead. <laughs> I might have the same amount of CS as my support at five minutes in, but... It's fine. My jungler is slow pushing the wave towards the enemy cannon. Surely the cannon doesn't just freeze under a sour and make the game unplayable for me, right guys? Like, bro, what do I even do here? My Hakerim has 11 CS. Uh oh, this is very unplayable matchup top lane. It's 11 CS, he's only soaking XP whole game. And of course the one time I ever try fighting the cannon, who's there? The cane. <laughs> Go down 40 CS and the one time you try fighting, cane's right there, nice. I mean, eh, we got his flash ult. That's like whatever. If Diego does decide to gang top, it should be free. The only way that this is awful is if I lose another cannon wave. Doesn't Hecarim hard counter cannon top? Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does, dude. Yeah. Ooh, a little fucking soul kill. I mean, I think I could have probably like, soul killed him without dying if I would have done that a little earlier. But a little soul kill? Eh, why not? But you crash this wave. Surely Nos isn't going to come top here, right guys? Okay, we're good. I mean, if I could get one plate here, it's lit. Oh. Never mind, my dreams are ruined.
Can you dodge his hero? It's over. Oh, GG. <laughs> Alright, well, we're getting the classic top lane experience, guys. Enemy team walks in range top, gets two support roams, two jungle ganks. And then what do you get? Fucked in the oh. air for 15 minutes. Oh shit! See, that's the thing. I intentionally died every single time in this game so that Kennen gets a shutdown, and now Zeri gets a shutdown, now she carries the game. And I just got two plates, so it's like I just got a kill. So, like, unironically, that's what the top lane strategy is. Uh, I'm all <gasps> uh. It's fine. I mean, if I get this tower, it would be huge, but I'm like 90% sure I just got... Oh. I was gonna say I got collapsed on by Yasser here, but nice no, spot. Actually, I actually think Hecarim top is fine. My problem with Hecarim top this game is that he's into cannon. It's impossible matchup. He needs to dodge here. Hecarim top can easily work into middle champions, but he's playing into cannon and it's unplayable from level 1 to, to, to Nexus explodes. You're telling me that engage isn't even enough for a single kill? Oh, wait, if they get cannon? Okay. Oh, shit. Wait, that's your drag. Okay. That's actually huge for us. I thought that I'd be able to like actually kill this either though. But I thought fearing her would set off for my team, but yeah, it just like fucked everything. Okay, all I need is Hallbreaker. If I can just finish my. No, please don't take this. Dude, why is my support still. I need the cat! Oh my fucking god! I. <laughs> The top lane experience, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, bro, like, dude. Oh shit. Oh my. Okay, we're gonna pretend that nothing happened there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes! Oh no! Oh my. <laughs> okay? Okay! Wait! Oh shit! It's a fucking top gap! Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think the only thing I need to do at this point is just like split. I don't know why I'm grouping with Hellbreaker, but it is what it is. If I walk up though, Kane comes and kills me. I need to wait until like they sh they go up further. Like now. Okay, now I'm good. I like what Dantes is doing. He's at least trying to be useful by playing Hellbreaker split style. I can respect that. Our team literally just seems to like either not die or go crazy. Cause this is like an insane split right now. I actually almost won that. What the fuck? NET STOP GAP! Oh my god, it's top death. Oh shit. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh no. But we lost. How do we even hold this? I mean, wait, no way, wait, wait, no, no, oh my, wait, 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 oh my god, online grouping with Hellbreaker is the ideal play, but fuck it, I mean, bro, if we go Baron and they just run into our mid, we lost the game, by the way, like, we literally just lose the game here if we go Baron. Look, see? Oh well. Well, we lost. <sighs> Maybe Hecarim Top isn't the best pick. But also, I can lock in, though. Like,. It's like, all I could ever say is just it is what it is. Why don't I mention the inting Hecarim top lane? I mean, I, I did mention it throughout the game. You just had to listen. I said that I think Hecarim top is fine, but when you play it into Canon, it's an impossible matchup to play. He was like 10 CS to 40 at minute 3, so... Top lane matchup was really unplayable. What I liked about Hecarim this game is that at least he recognized that he is just in a terrible spot. He went Hoodbreaker, at least pressured sideline, so he gave us some room to work with. Like, he was 1-14, but he was trying to win. I respect that. You should get reported, enter. Oh, I see me.